Hey everybody, it's Sammy from Bourbon Booze, back with another UK pickup, and we're looking at a store pickup today. So if you like what I'm doing, or what we're doing, um, make sure you hit that like and subscribe, it means a lot to us. So we're looking at, i got my little notes here, the Tesco Single Malt. This is from the Tesco stores here in Great Britain. Tesco is kind of like a, a not kind of, it is, it's a chain grocery stores. Um, so in America, it'd be like a Safeway, King Supers, um, I don't know, Kroger, that type of thing. Uh, they sell alcohol, uh, liquor in the grocery stores here. And this is the Tesco uh, Single Malt. So it's a single malt whiskey. Uh, I think it's created by Wyatt McKay, and we've done an episode of Wyatt McKay. It's a really old company here in Great Britain that does... Uh, a blended scotch. It's aged 12 years. It is um, relatively cheap. I bought this for 12 pounds. So it's about 16 US dollars. So 12 pounds, about 16 US dollars. And it's 40% or 80 proof. 40% AD proof and I don't know if they have um, since irresistible on this I don't know if they have any other uh, varieties of whiskey but you know if they have like a 16 18 21 whatever single malt where they have blended so uh, yeah it's gonna be a two barrel on cost <coughs> And we'll go ahead and look at this. The aroma, it smells like a malt, a single malt whiskey. Uh, got that right amount of spearmint, a little bit of um, <coughs> hay, some caramel and, and molasses to it, and a little bit of char. And then getting that dark fruit, not like um, the dark fruit cherry, like a bourbon, but uh, a dark fruit, but there's also an herbal essence and a light fruit aspect. A little bit of banana. Overall, I think it's better than the Wyatt McKay aroma, which was a blended that we had. Hmm, this is a really good single one. It's got a little bit of... Um, Spicy heatness on the back end, but on the front mouthfeel, it's uh It's rather smooth a little bit of um, Funky apricot to it, but not much Definitely get that maltiness uh, vanilla There is a little bit of uh, funky um, Kind of uh, lingering uh, aftertaste to it, but overall, it's it's actually um, pretty decent for a twelve euro or sixteen dollar bottle of single malt twelve year. The bite's not too bad as well. Overall, I'm going to rate this as a three. Uh, I think it's got a great point uh, price point value at sixteen. I would probably be buying this quite a bit. Uh, I haven't explored a lot of low um, budget whiskeys here in the UK, but this was by far the best one I've had so far. It's got a really nice um, front end, a little bit of a, a bad lingering aftertaste, and then um, a bit of a bite for 40%, um, a stinging medicinal bite. But it, overall, it's it's pretty uh, good. Uh, I do like it. It will be staying here in the UK, in my UK bar. I am taking uh, samples home for um, Andy and Cody and Alex, but um, otherwise this will be staying here. I do have a selection that is going home. Not very many, a lot are just in here, not that there's too much here. It's not like the bar in uh, back home that's, you know, hundreds and hundreds of bottles. This is only less than, well, right around a half dozen. So, uh, yeah, overall I'm going to give this a three. Uh, tell me what you think about um, local brand. This is the Tesco 
local brand. We did go to Aldi, which is another big chain here that sells alcohol. In the U.S., Aldi is a pretty fairly big chain, but they don't sell alcohol in my state. I don't know about the others. And we went there specifically to look for their gin because their gin is uh, a gold medal winner. Uh, it's the Haysmith brand, I believe. But I don't recall finding any um, store brand whiskey there. Um, but we are going to go to a much bigger Aldi uh, probably tomorrow. And I'll look for um, a store brand there. And then uh, I don't know of any other chains. These are the ones that are around here, these grocery store chains here. Uh, and I'm not going to get a chance to go to any of the bigger cities on this trip because of the whole COVID thing. But I will be um, definitely reaching out to local grocery stores to see what they have. And then hopefully on the next trip we can start exploring a little bit further out. We did visit a distillery, um, the English Whiskey Company. So look forward to um, a series on them. I pretty much bought every, not every, but quite a few of their iterations. And so some of it's staying here and some of it's going home. So make sure you check that out. But if you're ever in the UK and you want a good 12 year single malt at a great price point, um, pick up the Tesco 12 year single malt. Now, if you live in the UK, you might have a completely different opinion of this because you know more and you might know what's out there that's a little bit better. But for me, this is pretty good pickup. All right, so make sure you hit that like and subscribe. Check out Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and merchandise. And remember, there's no bad whiskey, there's only good whiskey and great whiskey. And this is pretty good whiskey for $16. Cheers.